Rock that was Oh wow. How's that bus gonna get through that puddle? We're going to surf uh, the Nicaraguan reverse snapper. And we're very excited. So we've driven about half an hour, 40 minutes, and then we're gonna take another 30 minute or 40 minute boat ride. And apparently we're gonna be surfing a wave that's um, the best in Nicaragua. So I'm really excited. I'm just trying to zinc up as much as possible. Such cool scenes, like look at all this. This is so magic. Let's say this is where we are right now. So we're gonna go out there and this is kind of where we're going to be surfing, you know, uh, so we're going to go out high up over here and then come like between a couple waves, run somewhere here and then go out to the break. That's kind of like easy part, but every, every time you kind of catch a wave or when you get caught in the inside or you get like, you know, let's say you don't make the drop or the set gets you, um, you're going to end up somewhere in here. So here in this area, it's like a channel, you still get waves, but it's more like a deep area where the boats can, can get there. So instead of paddling back to where the lineup is, you turn around and catch a, catch a white water and go inside here to this uh, safe area. It's not a time to hang in the boat, take a piece, you know, it's either if you're not ready, the boat will run around and come back for you. Oh, how are you feeling? <laughs> not stoked. <laughs> It begins. We can see waves. There's definitely swell and there's definitely faces. But it's a long way. We don't know what we're looking at yet. Oh shit. <laughs> We made it. I was a bit nervous there for a second. <laughs> We are on. This is this is tropical skeleton bay. <laughs> All right.
walk along. like really fast so we're just looking for corners where it's a little bit slower but yeah unsuccessful thus far <laughs> go Rennie go Good one. Go, Zander, go, 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 go. Fast and hollow. Oh, I couldn't get past that next part. Okay, they were good. Oh, yes. <laughs> The boat can see me. Yeah! Shit. The boat can't see me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna be lost at sea.
boats are ripping through the wave and just completely ruining the the space of the waves so it's so hard to hold your line come up so looks like we're doing turns. Oh, I didn't get that barrel that I was after. So much potential. Everyone got washed. That was one of those sessions where um, it, you saw so many good opportunities and, and good moments on the waves. On a 500 meter wave, you'd see, you know, maybe 20 meters, 30 meters, where it was like the most perfectly paced, round, easy barrel. And then uh, by the time it came to you, or, or when you, when you, if you grabbed it without knowing what was gonna happen, finding those moments on the wave, so it was, was quite difficult. Um, I found in the barrel too, like there were quite a few big chops, whether it was from the boat or from the wind. So it was hard to, uh, for me anyway, to really get comfortable sitting down on the face of the wave. I find I can do that when it's clean and easy, but at the moment it gets bumpy uh, is when I start losing my uh, position, my comfortable position. So that's something I've definitely got to keep working on. Um, but overall, this session was... Yeah, it was really cool, a really cool experience to share with my, with my students and uh, some of the locals as well.
onwards and upwards, we are going to France from here. Este es Oscar, ahí se entuba, se entuba, se entuba. Ahí lo casi todo. ¿Te cae? Sí. No, que tu vaso. No, fuck. Uh, oh, no. Qué mierda. Parecía <tose> Gracias.